the simple sounds of life are all around us. Sometimes we take them for granted. This is what most of us hear. And this is what some people hear. It's a world of silence that can feel like a world of solitude. Bev Webb knows all about that solitude. Almost overnight, she lost her hearing without explanation or warning, cutting her off from family and friends. What's, what's really hard about is I was completely, I could hear, and all of a sudden, I just lost it, like that. That's the hard part, to be able to hear and then nothing. It's been estimated that there's, you know, one to two million people that have a severe to profound hearing loss in the United States. So, you know, it's not a small number. Now, a skilled team of surgeons, nurses, and audiologists is about to try a remarkable procedure that could restore Bev's hearing, giving her the chance to listen to the voice she's never heard. I really can't wait for my, my granddaughter just to say my name and for me to be able to sit and read a book to her. Tonight, join us for one woman's fight to emerge from this silent world with the help of an amazing technology. Will Bev actually hear again? We'll find out if it works on this episode of Penn Vital Signs. When others say there is no hope, at the end of my day, I feel like I've made a difference in this patient's life. Explore the mystery. It's amazing to think that uh, you can perform a heart operation through a tiny little incision. Believe the impossible. We are developing the treatment that will become standard in the future. And witness the future of medicine. Ten vital signs. Ten Vital Signs is brought to you by Merck. And here's your host, Heather Kahn. Hello and welcome to Penn Vital Signs. I'm Heather Kahn. Every week, thousands of people gather here at Irvine Auditorium on the University of Pennsylvania campus to listen to the beautiful sounds of music and song. Enjoying a concert is something most of us take for granted. But what if you woke up tomorrow and your ears simply stopped working? Surprisingly, hearing loss is the number one disability in the world. There's a lot of people that I've seen personally who are younger people who've lost their hearing either quickly or unexpectedly had a large drop in their hearing and their understanding. And it can be extremely isolating. You know, you live so long in a hearing world and, and you take for granted how much you use your hearing. You can't hear um, what somebody is telling you, if you can hear what's going on in your environment, now that, that affects how you can function uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, people become withdrawn, they become isolated, become depressed because you know, it's difficult to communicate. Last year, at age 47, Bev's trouble suddenly began. She was chatting casually with husband when she realized she couldn't hear what he was saying. My hearing was perfectly fine. And then I started to notice. I, I couldn't hear people too well. And I kept saying, could you repeat that? And then all of a sudden, it just completely went. Before Beverly lost her hearing, you know, I had someone that I could confide in every day, talk to about problems, uh, help make decisions, you know, in everyday life. And when you lose that person to talk to, you feel alone. Uh, I was away for about a, two months working and I wasn't able to call home and just say, hey, how you doing, what's up? Now this desperate couple is turning to the hearing loss experts at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania for a new device called a cochlear implant. They feel it's their best chance to give Bev back the life she has lost. Dr. Douglas Bigelow will perform the surgery. The inner ear is arranged so that the high frequencies are heard in a certain part of the cochlea and the low frequencies are heard in a different part of the cochlea. So when you put these electrodes in, um, you can kind of program it so that 
and you hear different pitches. When we come back, we'll show you this incredible surgery. And later, you'll meet a Korean War veteran who received this amazing technology to restore his hearing. If you have questions about hearing loss or cochlear implants, log on to penhealth.com right now. We'll be back in a moment.